Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Hump Day, Water Change Wednesday to ya. Um, got a box here. Had it for, I don't know, a couple days. And um, I want to talk about it. I want to open it and talk about it. So as you know, um, I was at the NEC convention, the Northeast Council convention, um, a little more than a week ago. And even though I sold some guppies, uh, I pretty much broke even, you know, for for gas, tolls, the hotel, food, um, and but it was a good time. I met some really nice people. I met Lisa and Martin from uh, Super Cichlids. I had that contest. Check out supercichlids.com. I have a feeling we're going to be doing some more uh, things together in the near future, um, and so on and so forth. And I met. Zach from the company that runs the aquatic experience and we talked to him for a little while. He's a Star Wars fan Hopefully he'll watch this video and maybe even comment um, I met I met a lot of nice uh, people uh, One of the guys I met was Jason from San Francisco Bay brand uh, Food they make you know brine shrimp and um, the ocean nutrition uh, Brand is underneath their umbrella as well. So I met him and we talked a little bit about some stuff and then he emailed me and, and um, basically he sent me some stuff. Some stuff I'm going to talk about, some stuff I probably won't talk about. Um, but yeah, let's open it. So I know you guys love when I open things with scissors. And just to show you, I do have a razor blade right here, but you know what? Nah, I'm going with the scissors. Let's open the little invoice. It looks thick, looks like two pages. Um, I gotta tell you, Jason knows his stuff from from this company. Uh, we talked a lot about um, their different foods they have. This is via email after the, the show. We talked about their foods they have, foods they have in Europe, uh, some things they're trying, some things that I'm specifically looking for for my fish room. Um, so yeah, we'll go from there. All right, scissors, people. I don't want to hear anything about this, Wichita boy. Wasn't too bad so far. All right. Paper. What in the ever living hell was that? I have no idea. Lots of paper, wow. I'm going to recycle this and use it when I ship fish. So today I shipped like 10 boxes out and I feel bad because I had a customer who bought a better from me. I don't know if you saw on my website, on my website, on my Facebook page, two or three weeks ago at the Jersey Shore Aquarium Society auction, I bought a better and put it right up for sale because it was spectacular. He bought it, uh, spent good money on it. It was certainly worth it. And he asked for me to put hold at the post office and I completely forgot. He moved in between buying it, so his PayPal address was wrong, and I was more concerned about that because PayPal gets kind of, you know, weird with that. So, hopefully everything's okay. If not, I'll refund his money because I screwed up completely my fault. All right, enough about me. So, San Francisco Bay brand brine shrimp hatchery with hatch hatch mix, Sally's hatch mix, brine shrimp eggs, and salt. I don't know if you can see it's got an expiration date on there so yeah so basically you take a uh, inverted soda bottle put it right in there got some more brine shrimp eggs and what's this brine shrimpery educational brine shrimp kit just add water hatch baby brine shrimp seat back panel for instructions this is pretty cool he had this I think at the show but uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. And then there's just a crap ton of different food in here. Different Ocean Nutrition Flakes, Brine Shrimp Plus Flakes. Very nice. Spirulina, Grazing Wafers, Veggie Pellets. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through it and talk about different things at different times. But there's a lot of food in here. Now, some of you may be asking why I'm not exclusively with Fish Freaks Plus anymore. A bunch of people have asked me in private, and um, I'm just not—I'm not dealing with Fish Freaks Plus anymore. There's nothing wrong with the food. 
Um, I still think it's great food. If you want to order from there, you certainly should. But uh, I've just decided to move on. So that's the, the short story of it. All right, fishy folks. What else we got in this box? That's it. Lots of food. I do want to talk about one thing. This. So the other thing about going to these shows, these conventions, is all the free samples you get. Now. Um, Lisa from Super Cichlids was giving out, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they always have these little packets of food and she, she basically stuffed like a ginormous handful. Uh, she handed it to me. Just take it, take it. And this is, um, P.E. Flake Cichlid Fish Food. This is the Mysis Shrimp Company from Canada. But... This is some good stuff. My fish really like this. So, but Ocean Nutrition has these Formula One pellets. Now, a lot of commercially based food, like the big guys, is filled with fillers and crap. And yeah, it's fine if you're going to feed your fish, but it's like if you ate processed food all the time. You'd survive, but you wouldn't thrive, right? So... I'm in a breeding business. I like high nutrition, high protein, good for you food. And Fish Freaks Plus was that, still is, but I need to branch out, right? I need to try different things and look around and, and stuff. So I have some other options. I've been using Cobalt for a little while. And what impressed me about Ocean Nutrition is the knowledge that Jason had telling me all about it. Like any question I had, he could answer. And if not, he got the answer. So that was cool. but. These Formula One pellets, I do have to do some research because I didn't yet, um, but everybody loves them. Especially my Oscars, Han and Leia, and the Black Ghost Knife loves them. Um, so, that's it about Formula One pellets for now. Alright, fishy folks, I think that's about it for this unboxing. Um, let's do a quick, quick tank tour, standby. All right, just to give you an idea of the kind of stuff I got, look at all those bottles of food. I'm pretty excited. Got some leftover boxes. Yeah, the fish room's a mess. I, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to do any work down here. It's Easter weekend. My son is coming home from college. Uh, I'm planning, you know, I'm cooking Easter dinner. And on Saturday, I think I'm going to do a uh, prime rib on the rotisserie outside. No, you can't come over. Um... I did a live stream for the uh, Super Cichlids contest and I sort of did a walk around tour as people wanted to see different things. I showed them different tanks, but these are the American Koi guppies I got. Now, now look at how fantastic that looks. It doesn't look like an American Koi, but look how cool it looks, right? And so if we look up here in my male guppy tank, I'll show you what it's supposed, it's supposed to look like this. Right? A little blue, a little white, a little red, American Koi Guppy. That's that's how I got them. That's what they're supposed to look like. These look nothing like that. Now, the guy I got them from, I know him for a while. Very nice breeder. Very great, good stuff. He says his breed true. Mine aren't breeding true. I don't know if I have Gen 2, Gen 3. I don't know. Um... And that one looks a little jacked up, but these are still pretty cool fish anyway, even though they're not breeding true. Look how huge she is. So. Also, we have the albino bristle nose just growing out in here. These are the regular albinos. And in here we have the calico bristle nose, which of course, they're all hiding, I'm sure. And a crap ton of snails. This was the red and blue grass guppy tank. And right now I think there's just one female and a couple different generations of fry in here. Um, I'd love to find some, some plecos in here. Oh, there's one. I scared him. Yeah, he's up against the wall now. They're growing well. I feed the crap out of them, as you can tell, by the mulm in the bottom of the tank and the snails. Um, I drop at least an algae wafer in here. Um, look how big she is. Wow. Wow. Anyway, I drop at least, uh, one in the morning, one at night, and usually a hunk of cucumber or zucchini or... Uh, I was going to say green peppers, but green beans. Um, I just added some some hiding spots for fish in here. This is the lime green cobra tank. I don't like it in the 20, but they're still in, or they were in quarantine. So when I set up some more of these 20s down here, uh, I'll move them down there. Um, 
What else? I think that's it. Zlatan is in here. Zlatan the Blue Phantom Pleco and his brother is also in here, which they're hiding. They hide a lot. Let's see if the zebras are out. They're not zebras. They're false zebras. But they're not out. So, I got this cool wood from... Oh, there's one. See? L129 false zebra. There's two of them. But I got this cholo wood from Greg Jones. You all know Greg Jones. Greg's a great guy. I think I said this before. One thing about YouTubers is sometimes they have a persona on camera. And it's not the same persona in real life. Um, we all know people who like that. Pretty sure most of you know what I'm talking about. But I like to be how I am in real life. That's how I am in camera. And anyway, so he had this cholo wood on sale. It was a dollar each. I think I bought five of them. Uh, I just threw them around. So in that hole, I saw plecos before. So a little bit interesting. What is that? Oh, that's a dead pleco. That's kind of gross. See, guys? Live TV. Live YouTube. A dead pleco. <sighs> Just what I wanted. I guess we should look for more dead plecos, eh? There's one. Not dead, but... No, look, I thought that was a pleco. Wow, I'm tired. All right. I think that's about it, guys, because I thought that was a pleco. Now, these guys in here, they're just regular brown bristle nose. I picked up three at the auction uh, two weeks ago. And I've seen all three, but they're not eating anything. It's very strange. So there's probably one in this wood or under here. Yeah, there's one. And uh, there's probably one hiding over here. I don't know where they are. I don't know. They're in here somewhere. I'm going to clean that stuff out. I, I don't know what's going on. How come they're not eating? Oh, there's one. There's two. I'm sure the third one's in here somewhere. All right. Uh, Red Dragon guppies. These are pretty cool. Look, the black, the black uh, dorsal fins. They're not Dumbo ears, but they look big because they're, you know, black. They're a different color. These came from Super Breeder Steve as well. They've already had at least one drop in here. So, yeah. There's Bruce. Here are the L144 Lemon Pleco, Lemon Blue Eye Plecos doing their thing. Also getting bigger. Lots of ginormous snails because I feed the poop out of this tank also. These are some platies I picked up for a dollar, I think, at the auction. I, I don't even know why. I don't have room for them. I don't really like them. I'm, I mean, you know, it's not that I don't like them, but I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> They're just taking up tank space now, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Chunky Gold Medina, chilling, clean up duckweed, did a good job, uh, and then of course Hannah and Leia, growing, I gotta get a cover for this tank, and there's the black ghost knife out and about, just chilling, never had one, don't know anything about them, got them on the cheap, the plan was to buy them cheap and flip them, but I decided to keep them because he's pretty cool, so, I think I'm gonna get more goldfish, um, I had thought, like at the auction, the Jersey Shore auction, I bid on a couple of goldfish, and then I got outbid because I'm cheap. But I think I'm going to get some more goldfish for this tank. I mean, it's a 75. I could probably fit, like, what, 100 goldfish in here? No. I could probably fit two or three more goldfish in here. No problem, you know. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think Nisi would be happy if I got more goldfish. Nisi, if you're happy, let me know. All right, fishy folks. Here's a plush pleco from super cichlids and that's it for me because i am pretty darn tired take a look at the website web weg blah 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 well hello fishy folks happy hump day water change wednesday as you know my water changes automatically while i sleep seven days a week I'm really tired. This is gonna be a fun one, I think. Happy hump day, fishy folks. It is water change Wednesday. I'm wearing my fantastic shirt from, what is it? A shirt, fantastic shirt. Well, good morning, fishy folks, and happy hump day. It is water change Wednesday. It's really Tuesday night. It's about 11 p.m. I just got home from work. That's a lie. 
It's about 11 p.m., but I got home from work maybe an hour ago. So, uh, yeah, I should probably do this again. Well, hello, fishy folks. Happy hump day. Water change Wednesday for you, and uh, for me, it's Tuesday night, almost 11 o'clock. I got home about an hour ago from work. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I usually have Tuesday night um, TV conference. I got nothing. I'm just, I'm oof. Well, hello, fishy folks. Happy hump day. Water change Wednesday it is. I got a box here. I got it a couple days ago, and I just haven't gotten around to opening it. And um, I want to talk about it for a second. So, as you know, uh, last weekend I was at the, I guess, the weekend and a half ago, a weekend and a half ago, uh, 